Bennett Academy, our lone local team who competed in Class 1A a season ago, begins our boys tennis preview. The Red Wings did more than compete in the 1A tournament, they nearly won the whole thing. A mix of senior veterans and talented freshmen led the charge in 2022, with the doubles teams performing especially well. Seniors Drew Donovan and Noah Bobovchek made it all the way to the 2A doubles championship before falling in a hard-fought three-set match. Senior John Yahiro and freshman partner Patrick Burke also made it to the final day and also fell in three sets in the third place match. Noah's younger brother Zach won a sectional championship and a pair of matches at state as well, while another freshman singles player, Hugh Davis, also made it to state and won the ESCC in two singles. Alex Brown and Marcelo Bolivar are two upperclassmen who return with varsity experience, while junior Michael Campione is another name to watch. Burke, Davis, and the younger Bobovchek returning as sophomores gives the Red Wings and legendary head coach Michael Hand a great foundation for another run at the 1A title in 2023. Wabonzi Valley did not have a season to write home about if you look at the DVC regular season standings from 2022. However, the Warriors were able to put forth a strong effort in the sectionals as Elliot Dom finished as the runner-up in singles and Pranav Inampudi and Jackson Jiang qualified for state in doubles by taking fourth place. While Dom has graduated after a great career, Inampudi and Jiang will be back as the top doubles duo. Aiden Lamb also returns for his senior season after playing both doubles and singles last year. Senior Rishi Mahadevan is the other high-end varsity returner from 2022. Daud Saeed, Brian Daniels, Issa Nazir, Tayal Samayan, and Tiro Kovaluru all have the chance to work into the varsity rotation for the green and gold. Freshmen Hector Diaz, Revneth Kothapali, and Gautam Mani are all newcomers to watch for as well. Niqua Valley is always a top team in the area and 2022 was no exception as the Wildcats earned another sectional championship. Niqua is fortunate to return their top two singles players in junior Johnny Moe and senior Divya Chaura who both qualified for state last season. Mo is the preseason favorite to emerge as the top singles player in the DPC. Both Niqua's doubles teams qualified for state a year ago, but each pairing lost a senior to graduation. Jonah Grover from one doubles and Tyler Yu from two doubles have moved on, but seniors Sid Javeri and Kai Sun are both back and will likely team up to form the top doubles team for the blue and gold this spring. Matia Valley fell one point shy of a sectional championship in 2022, but still managed to earn multiple state qualifiers. Akshay Bade and partner Nikunk Tiagi were the doubles runner-up in both the DVC and sectional championships. Tiagi has now graduated, but Bade returns for his junior season. The Mustangs also have their top singles player back for his senior year in Adit Gandhi. The Mustangs return a good number of talent, which should have them right in the mix of the conference race and state qualifying spots. Josh Kadakia and Pranam Swaminathan returned for their senior seasons after a DVC championship win in two doubles last spring. Junior Jack Jordan, senior Salish Senthil Kumar, and sophomore Mahir Arya will all feature prominently in varsity matches this season. Naperville Central did not win the DVC or a sectional championship, however the Red Hawks did have the best team score at the 2A state meet a season ago, finishing in a tie for 8th place. The lion's share of that credit can go to now graduated star Blake Regner, who won the DVC and sectional singles titles and advanced to the state quarterfinals. The good news for the Red and White is that there are some experienced state qualifiers returning to the roster with Vincent Yin ready to take over at one singles in his senior season. Daniel Rabinovich also returns as a senior after qualifying for state in 2022, although his doubles partner Uju Kim has graduated along with another solid doubles player, Daniel Wu. In addition to Yin and Rabinovich, there's a lot of talent coming back to fill the gaps at the top of the varsity roster. Ethan Rupp, Vincent Stafudis, Jeremy Zhao, Will Reichus, and Brandon Speckman are all seniors hoping to end their careers on a high note, while returning upperclassmen Peter Pike and Rohan Jha will also be in the mix. Our final team put forth one of the best seasons in recent memory under head coach Heather Henriksen. The Naperville North Huskies won both the DVC Team Championship and the Matia Valley Sectional title in 2022. The Blue and Orange also have the top doubles duo in the area returning for their senior seasons and two-time state qualifiers Dividus Jasinuskis and Nathan Lee, who also won the DVC and sectional titles. 
State singles qualifier Zach Slade will certainly be tough to replace, but senior Luke Fernandez has two years as the Huskies' number two singles player under his belt. Koch Bonsall is also an experienced doubles player who could remain at two doubles or switch over to the singles division. Sophomore Arush Baradwaj is also a candidate to jump into the top varsity spots. It's a large varsity roster for the Huskies this spring, with a big number of freshmen and sophomores joining the squad as well. It will be interesting to watch who steps up for the Huskies as they look to repeat as top dogs in the DVC when the season begins in early April.